What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add images to your apps for Flutter. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at adding images to our apps with Flutter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna start to add images to our apps with Flutter. I'm gonna show you two methods to do it, one really quick and easy way, one a little bit more difficult, but probably better off, and that's what we're gonna do from here. So this is the app we created in the last video. See, I've got it running on an Android emulator. If you don't know how to do that, check back in the playlist a couple of videos ago and you'll see how to do that. So let's head over to our code. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So this is the code we've been working on so far. And we can come down here and we see inside the body, we've got this uh, center thing and with some text. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna show you two different methods. The first one we wanna look at is just pulling something off of the internet. So Let's come through here and let's put this instead of this text widget, let's get rid of that. And instead we want an image widget. There we go. And you can see it's already trying to tell me we need to define an image inside of here. So that looks good. Now let me just go ahead and put this on its own line here. So to use an image on the internet, we call network image. And you can see it's already starting to suggest something for me. So we can click on this and boom, here we have place where you put the URL. Now you use single quotes in here and then just put the URL of any image you want to use. So if we head over to the web browser real quick, this is just a, an image I have on my Codemy website. This is Aspen, my Husky. I mean, we took her to the vet one day and snapped this picture. So that's what I'm going to use. And let's head back over here and we can just paste that in. So eh, that's all there is to it. And you remember it's centered, so we're good there. Go ahead and save this, pull our app back up, and we see boom, there's Aspen. So super easy and uh, really all there is to it. Now, you know, you're not always gonna wanna pull images off the internet or have that lag time to have to go look up an image. You want to use images that are sort of local and added to your project. So how do we do that? Well, first we're gonna come up here to our app and we're gonna add a directory where we can keep all of our images. So if we click on here, and then just sort of come down here and make sure it's all highlighted. We can come up here and click on this new folder icon. And I'm just gonna create a folder called images. And you can see inside of here, there's nothing there, but we can drag and drop images. So let me just grab an image real quick and pull it on over and drop it in there. And you can see here's a picture of me and Aspen being awesome. And it's in this images directory. Now we need to tell our app, hey, look in the images directory for images. And we do that down in our pubspec.yaml file. And if you don't know, YAML stands for YAML ain't markup language, which is awesome. And you come down here and there's already a section for images. And you can see here it is right here, um, but it's commented out. So we need to uncomment this. So we can just sort of highlight all of this stuff and hit control and the forward slash to uncomment it. Now make sure your indentation is correct. YAML files are indented by two spaces. So make sure your thing is lined up here and then just one, two. Same thing with the inside of here. We could go one, two, three, four, right? So next we need to define our images that we wanna use. So this one was called aspen.png. So we can go ahead and save that. Now come up here to the top now we need to actually get the packages. So you see this little button up here, it says get packages. Let's go ahead and click that. It'll kind of compile everything and grab your images and all that good stuff. So now we can come back to our main.dart page. And down here, instead of a network image, let me get rid of that. What we want is an asset image. And we can click on here. And inside of here, same deal. We just use parentheses and then tell it which image we want. So in our case, we want images slash aspen.png. And it's images slash for two reasons. One, because that's where we saved it for. Let's see, where did it go? Right here in our images directory. And two, because our YAML file here, that's where we you know designated it in, images, right there, right? So, okay, that looks pretty good. We can go ahead and save this and run this guy again. And boom, we see me and Aspen being awesome. And that's all there is to it. 
So two methods to use images in your apps, and we'll get into using images more sort of sophisticatedly later on in this playlist, but that's the basic gist of it for now and pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.